Uh, I don't think there's anything new on the board. There's not. Um, this guy... Yes? Okay, we have nothing yet new to Fair say well. to him. Why, hello? Um, hmm. Uh, let's see, I think... Oh, here's a Dwarven blacksmith. Let's go talk to him. Look at that beard. Greetings. Holy mackerel. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down. I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and short for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. Nice. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Well, he mentioned the Scoyatel a moment ago. Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Do you trade with them? Fuck off. Mm. You won't provoke me. Jeez, sorry. Didn't mean to anger Shut you there, buddy. Oh, great, man. I am not off to a good start in um, interpersonal relations. Oh, okay. So we push open this gate, and now we're here in the outskirt, outskirts, outskirts of Vizima. And uh, this is when we could um, pick up a bunch of herbs and stuff, but we don't know what those herbs are. We haven't learned about them. What is this, a cat? Meow. Um, hmm. Abandoned houses. All right. Well, let's go take a look in these abandoned houses. Locked. Really? Is that so? Hm, it appears to be locked. Let's see what's in here. Abandoned hut. Oh my. Oh boy, that bone was moving around. Did you see that? Now well, let's ransack this sack. That's it? That's all that's in here? Okay. Um, here's another abandoned house. And there's a oh, clothing rack. What do we got? Red shawl gift. It can be sold or given to a woman. Okay. All right. That was worthwhile. Um, what is this all about? Travelers, merchants. I should hurry. King Foltes raised customs duties again. All kinds of unknown herbs. Jeez. Oh crap. Witch's hut. Uh let's look in this barrel over here first. Bottled water. Can't have enough of that. Whoa, what's going on here? Door okay, so this is where that Abigail is. Sick person. What's going on, sick person? Oh, my stomach hurts. Said witch. Huh. I can't really oh, my interact hurts. with him. Said witch. But he's blaming the witch for something. Well, let's go get the witch's side of the story. Well, hello. Uh, doll. I wonder what this man-shaped doll is for. A man-shaped doll of oakum and wax. I wonder what the witch uses it for. Well, let's have a little chat with Abigail. Oh my, a witcher! Welcome. <laughs> Welcome what to my to the man hut. Outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. 
the sinner will recover. Oh, okay. Well, a new entry in our journal. Abigail. A witch named Abigail lives in a village in the outskirts. Though the villagers buy herbs and potions from her, she also faces much hostility. Well, that's a shame. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see what happens if we steal something from her barrel while she's sitting right there. I'll take a fl take this flinch from her. Oh, she doesn't seem to care. Either that or she did, just plain old didn't see us. Laundry baskets. Red shawl. Well, I really don't need another one of those. Uh, old chest. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you! I am a despicable human being. Oh, did I have a look in the crate? Oh yeah, that's mine too. Alright, that's what I do. I just kind of walk around, go in people's homes, take stuff from them right in front of them. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I found your notice. I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Barghest skulls? Not yet. Hurry then. Everybody's in a hurry. Oh, well, they're just kind of floating. That's a pretty neat trick, witch. What do you want? Let's ask her some questions. Can I ask you something? If you must. Hmm. Magic against phantom hounds. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orans. What? Well, I have a feeling I'm going to need that, so let's give her the money. Yes. You'll need nasen salt, ganatsid's acid, wine stone, and lard. I can sell you these ingredients. Thanks. You can replace the nasen salt with hellebore petals if you wish. Oh, okay. Great. Uh, I'll rest a bit, prepare. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what are her... Wow, she does have some wares here. Uh, the Book of Animals contains information on dogs and wolves, swamp monsters, and field plants. I don't remember how much that other guy was selling these for. I don't know if it was the same price or he was selling them for more. Bargists. I already know about Bargists. I don't need that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can't afford that stuff anyway. What's this? Red Ribbon. A Drowner Repelling Talisman? Boy, it sure is expensive. Jeez. 400? Huh. Alright. Is that all there is to say to her? What do you want? Uh, I guess I'll see you later. See you later. So, we probably can't really have new dialogue with her until we bring her the Bargast Skulls. How many does she need? She needs 10 Bargast Skulls? Jeez. And I have four currently. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to run into any Bargus skulls here in the day. Uh, Bargus skulls. We're not going to run into any Bargus here in the daytime. They only come out at night, I believe. So, um. Oh, here's a barrel I missed before. And a door. Did I not go in here? This is a different. Look at this guy. Jeez trunk. Ooh, uh, silver ring. Hmm, okay. Old shelf. More flint. Boy, people should have a lot of flint lying around. And a barrel, which contains all kinds of valuable stuff. So we need a way to make money. There's a boy over here. I wonder if he has anything to say. Fresh graves. Plague must have visited. Oh, okay. Teach me to kill. Teach me to kill. Jeez. All right. Uh, let's see. Eternal Fire Shrine. What's up with this? Okay. Nothing to do with that right this moment. Let's go talk to this Royal Huntsman guy. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? 
So be it. <laughs> what do you want? I'm looking for some work. I'm looking for witch's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witches do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. Okay. Yeah, tell me what it looks like. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. Oh, gee, thanks. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Hmm. Huh. Looks like uh, Geralt's a little bitter about the way people treat him. Take care. Alright, well that was interesting. Right. So, we've got... Um... Hmm... We oh we need to speed the reverend. That's what we need to we need to go talk to the reverend. Uh, we need Bargus. We need drowners. That's for the reverend. We have to talk to him. We need ghouls for Kalkstein. So let's see if we can't find the reverend. I actually know where the reverend is, so we'll just run right over there. I'm just holding down my A key, the highlight um, items I can interact with. I tend to do that when I run around so I don't miss anything. Like, oh my gosh, I would have missed that flint. That would have been terrible. Oh, this door's locked. Oh, a half-eaten corpse. Jeez. I guess I'll finish it. <laughs> uh, an iron dagger. I already have an iron dagger. So I don't really need a new one. Let's see what's in the wardrobe here. Silver Amber Ring, a valuable item which can be sold or given to someone. Alright. Uh, I, th I just said I know where the Reverend is, and now I'm wondering if I f have forgotten. Village. Okay. Peasant. Oh, that hoarding witch has an eye on me. Oh my. Old peasant. Chickens are dying like flies from the plague. Look how short this old lady is. My last cow died. The plague hasn't even spared Why animals. So somebody's upset with Foltest, the king, thinking that he should do something about the plague. Peasant woman. Peasant. Let's see what they have to say. My cow needs milking. Yeah. <laughs> this place. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. Okay. Abigail sells an ointment for boils. My cow needs milking. Let's see if we just take this right out in front of them. Well, they don't seem what to care. Day? My cow needs milking. Abigail sells <laughs> an ointment for boils. Yeah, they don't. Ooh, what's this? Uh, swamp monsters. Yes, that's mine. I'll take that. Now I'll read about swamp monsters. Hell yeah. Right click to read. Swamp monsters. The bestiary describes swamp monsters. The drowner, the drowned dead, and the blood zigger. It provides information on fighting them and on alchemical ingredients that can be obtained from the bodies of those beasts. Cool. What's this book? An invitation to magic. A book addressed to young adepts of the art. It deals with the basics of magic and witcher science. Oh, when did I get that? Hmm. An invitation to magic, Annabelle Radfind. Magic is an incarnation of chaos, a key which opens forbidden doors to nightmares, to the powers of pure evil capable of annihilating the entire world. Do you not fear magic? Do you still want to tame it, to wield it? 
Know then that magic is a talent given only to the chosen few. Have you found this talent within you? Do you want to tap into this source? Know then that years of intensive study await you. You must gain extensive knowledge and constantly sharpen your mind. Creative magic is not witcher signs and parlor tricks. Magic is an art. Once you learn to control the art, you will gain power over fire, water, earth, and air. Power over people's minds. Power over yourself. Okay. I don't remember picking that up. Alright, well, thanks for the goods, people. Appreciate it. So, let's see. Is there anything else here? So, we will run into this village here. Uh, here's another door. Oh, we can just go into all these places. Here's another hut. Hey, how's it going, peasant? Peasant woman. Oh, that whoring witch has her eye on me. Thought you were a bandit. Thought you were a bandit. I kind of am, because I'm just going to come in here and take your stuff. So there's, is there no consequence to doing this? These people don't care if I come in and just take stuff oh, from them? Ouch. Oh, that whoring witch has her eye on me. Yeah, I'm just going to keep taking oh, stuff. And, until people stop me, I guess. One bearing weapons on your back. That's me. Oh, hey. Greetings, handsome traveler. Well, First kind you. words I've heard around here. Yeah. I like travelers. One showered me with flowers. Oh, let's give her a gift. <laughs> let's give her this um, red shawl. Put that away. Put that away. But I wanted to give you a red shawl. Gre First I like. Oh, I guess she want does she just want flowers? Is that what she wants? I haven't picked up any flowers yet. Uh, let's see if she wants a silver ring. Put that away. Nope. So I'm going to guess she wants flowers, but I don't really know why we want to give her flowers. But uh yeah, interesting. What am I to do? Oh, let's look in here now. More Peasant women and peasants. Abigail sells an ointment for boys. These peasants are doing pretty good for themselves. Trunk. Okay, nothing else in here. Thanks for everything. Appreciate it. Hmm. All kinds of places to go into. This little door? Locked. Oh man, I wanted to go into that little place. Oh, that whoring witch has her eye on me. I rarely do this. Rarely do what? I rarely do this. What is it you rarely do? Um, Quite. beggar. My grandson is dying of the plague. Will you show him mercy? What do you mean? Doesn't the white gull medicine grant relief? My grandson should die painlessly. Fine. I just happen to have some white gull. Oh gosh, I only have one. Eh, I could make more. Thanks. This elixir may help my grandson die in peace. Farewell. Wait. The Reverend refused to help, so I stole his ring. <laughs> Use it well. Whoa. Drag and drop signets to the highlighted slots to activate the signet gameplay dialogue. Left click the signet in conversation to present the ring. Tip characters recognizing signets will be more favorably inclined. Presenting the wrong signet might offend a character. Huh, interesting. Well, as I told you in the first episode, this is actually the fourth time I've started this game. And that's the first time that's happened. I know that the ring is important. Normally you have to get it from the Reverend. But she's given me one right now. I now have the ring. I don't know why it's not showing up as a quest item, though. Where is it? It's not it. Eternal Fire Signet Ring. A valuable item which can be sold or given to someone. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. This is where I would put my rings. But I'm not going to put it on just now. Some 
peasant woman. You were a bandit. Okay. Let's see what's in their cupboard. Um, okay, well, thanks. Hey, you never know. Greetings, Is this the same woman? Traveler. First kind words I've heard around here. I like travelers. Hmm. One showered me with flowers. Is this the same woman? Take care. Huh. I don't know if that's the same woman or whether there's just like a whole bunch of them that look the same, you know? Like they use the same model. Yeah. Okay, so this is the one I talked to before, isn't it? No, this is a, this is a different woman, isn't it? I rarely do this. I rarely do this. Huh, interesting. Alright. A barrel. Loot. Thank you. Poor girl. Let's go talk to the poor girl. We are now entering a new region, the outskirts. I'll be a bar wench when I'm older. Well, that's it's good to have goals. Can I read this? Huh? I can't read it. Hmm. Yeah. Great. First. I love. Take well, care. All right. I guess we'll find some flowers at some point and give them to her and see what happens. So right here is like um, a town, a village, and that's where the reverend is. We'll talk to him next time, because it's break time for me. I know it's uh, off to a bit of a slow start. Uh, it does get a lot more interesting, though, trust me. But yeah, right now we're just running around trying to do a few quests so we get, get enough orins to, um, I don't know, I guess buy some books that we need so that we could learn what all these unknown herbs are and such. Complete a few quests, and then we can continue on with the story. But our next next quest that we are interested in is this um, of monsters and men. When the beast attacked, the boy was terrified. He went into a magical trance and uttered a prophecy. It seems the outskirts have mysteries of their own. To fathom them, apparently I should see the reverend. So I must see the reverend if I want to solve the mysteries of the outskirts. We will do that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, won't you consider leaving a like or a comment? And if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in the next episode.